Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the shul. I'm so happy uh, to share a few moments with you about this week's coming Torah portion. The Torah portion that we're reading this coming Shabbat is called Kitisa. And it's a fascinating study in exactly how the original sanctuary or tabernacle was built. It was a portable tabernacle that the Jews used while they wandered in the desert for those 40 years. It was portable for the obvious reasons that as they wandered through the desert, it couldn't be permanent. It had to be fashioned in such a way that they could put it together and take it apart and easily move on. After the Jews entered into the land of Israel, after those 40 years of wandering, this portable tabernacle was actually set up on a near permanent basis in the ancient city of Shiloh, which is the modern day Palestinian city of Nablus. But the interesting idea that we take from our Torah portion is this. In the instructions that God gives to Moses about the building of the tabernacle, he gives the instructions for the building of the furniture, the altars, the lavers, the menorah, the, the candelabras, all of those elements. And then God gives the instructions for the building of the physical structure. Later on, as we read the story of the building of the tabernacle, we read the opposite. First, the Jews build the physical structure, and then they build the furniture. And the rabbis in the Talmud come to a beautiful and stunning conclusion of this. They wonder why would the Jews do the opposite of what God had commanded them? To which the answer is, God doesn't live here. God gave us the generalities about how to build it, but nobody builds a home where they first make the furniture and then they build the house. You make the house and then you put the furniture in. And so too we understand this truism about life. And that is, while God gives us the principles, we are also given the gifts, the faculties of understanding how to best apply them. We are the ones who live in the world. And God has charged us not only with the abilities to make this world into something better, but God has also charged us with the responsibility of making this world into the kind of place that God truly wishes it to be. Because God is not going to do it. God is expecting us to. Shabbat Shalom.